Enchants? Nah, nah, nah. He doesn't have enchants. I don't have enchants. All right, let's invite him to our lair. Oh, he's waiting in Durotar. Look at him. He's ready, dude. I don't know, dude. I'm not buying Shadow Resistance gear. Come on, guys. But let's walk out a bit so we can't use Line of Sight. Because Line of Sight is lame as fuck. All right, here we go. Challenge me whenever you're ready, sir. Let's see his gear. Dreamweave. Oh, shit. He has this. Oh, he, he got the princess neck. Nice. All right. I'm ready whenever. Holy fuck, chat. I'm nervous, man. All right, here we go, dude. GG, man. Well played. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> I was racing, dude. Oh, he's out. He went out like a warrior, dude. He went out like a warrior, boys. Can we get some 07s in the chat, boys? Ethical Makura, dude. This warrior is going to Brilhala. There's no question about it. Seven, boys. <laughs> Brill Express, dude. Holy shit, man. I was nervous, man. I was nervous as hell, dude. He should have went out at 60. Uh, he was burnt out, he said, man. He said he didn't want to do more. He said, this is what he said. Because he just wants to go out with a cool memory of hardcore. Yeah, he said he didn't have enchants and anything like that. So I didn't I didn't get any enchants. I didn't really change, you know, my gear or anything. I just equipped what I had. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got some big crits, though. I didn't think I would have enough damage to kill him. I really didn't think I would have enough damage to kill him. But my Frostbolt crit, look at this. I got kind of a lucky crit. Do a react analysis. All right, all right. All right, let's do a react analysis on this. Good. All right, so I'm inspecting his gear, you know, nothing special. He didn't He didn't go out of his way. He didn't get like frost resist parts or anything. He didn't get, you know, nothing like that. I, I didn't get anything like that either. You know, I have elixirs in my bags. I didn't use them either. We had some rules set, you know, that we were gonna do it ethically. All right, so I reshield, I uh, pop all my trash buffs here, you know, and I don't want to, and the reason why I do this is so he doesn't dispel my ice barrier. I'm protecting my ice barrier with all these buffs, basically, is what I'm trying to do. Um, then accept. I agree. And we go. Now, the, the start, so here, it's kind of a mind game, right? Because he can shadow with death my poly. So I'm trying to fake cast this poly. But if I fake cast too much, he's going to dispel all my buffs and I'm going to fall behind. So I'm on a timer to get this poly. Uh, and if he silences me, it's not too bad. So there I try to fake cast. He goes for the silence. I'm casting a nade in case he starts casting anything. And I get the poly. Now I get it. You can see like this icon on my, uh, on my character right here. That's on his dispel global. So I knew I didn't have to fake there. Or that he was he was probably wanted to fear me. So here, his dots are already ticking. Now, at this point, I rebuff rank one arcane intellect. And that is so I can protect my barrier. Now, what I'm trying to do with this Frostbolt sheep 
is number one, I'm trying to stack Winter's Chill on him. Number two, I'm trying to get him to shield. Now, if he shields here, I will resheep, Frostbolt, and then sheep again, and then go when he has uh, weakened soul. So I Frostbolt, I resheep. And it's very important the distance here. If you stand uh, too far away, you can't get the sheep. And if you stand too close, your Frostbolt is going to break the sheep because your sheep is uh, going to go off before the Frostbolt hits him. So you need to min max the distance. And this is the perfect distance. Um, now, here, my shield fades. So I cancel this, I rebuff. And now I'm on a timer because I don't have another shield after this unless I cold snap. So now I have to kind of go. I have a Winter's Chill. And I send a Goblin Mortar. And that's to stun him. He shields. And now I can get a free Frostbolt. Two free Frostbolts actually into his Mortar. He throws a, a nade. I block it because he already used Silence. So then he tries to fake cast me with a first aid. Now here I wanted to nade him. Uh, but he actually trinketed. I think he wanted to trinket the nade. But he trinketed the Nova. At this point so he messed up here a little bit he wanted to trinket the nade but he did it too fast so now i get free casts so i get a free frostbolt he trinket actually he dispelled himself he dispelled and got lucky on the nova and then he trinketed the nade so that was good and then he feared me now i could use will here but will triggers a global and i'm in the middle of my all-in uh and all that he wants to do now is heal and fake cast my counter spell if i land my counter spell i've won here if i don't land my counter spell then he's going to heal, and I have to reset, and then it gets sketchy. To resist my cone, I go for another Frostbolt, because you need to do as much damage as possible here uh, before you go for your instance. Then I try to kick him here. He fake casts it, but it's just too late because I got those Frostbolts, and then my cone crits. Makes up for the resist I got earlier, and yeah. That's the duel. That's it. Yeah, so he got the Dispel there on the Nova, which was uh, really good for him. Um, and the reason why I expect for Winter's Chill is so that when I do Nova him, he's going to have to Dispel the Slow from Frostbolt and Cone. And uh, he's going to Dispel the Winter's Chill. He's going to have uh, Detect Magic as well and all of those things. If he triggers a Global on Dispel and he doesn't get the Nova, I get a Free Shatter. So it's really big for me if, uh, if I can get it. So that's the main reason. Oh, there's no Shadow or Death. Okay, so I don't even need to fake it. Why did I think there was a Shadow or Death? I thought there was. I guess it's TBC. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that was my thought process. Yeah, he could have opened with Silence. Well, he did open with Silence. <laughs> 10 ears, level 60. The dream is alive, boys. The dream is alive. Ear number 7, dude.